This is currently on its charging dock. As you can see, it's plugged in. And if you were to take it off the dock and use it for a bit, when you go to put it back on, you'll see these lights telling you that it's charging. Um, seems to last for quite a while. I've had the unit off the charging dock for at least a couple hours and I haven't run out of power. Um, we mostly use it connected to our Wi-Fi system. We already had other Sonos speakers and this was an add-on so that we could take it out by the pool when we're outside and still have speakers playing inside and have the same, you know, music playing throughout the house. And one thing I noticed that sometimes it does drop the, um, the Wi-Fi signal, but what's nice about this speaker, we uh, switch it over with this button in the middle to your Bluetooth. And from what I've seen on my iPhone, it just automatically connects when I tap that, switches over to Bluetooth, drops the Wi-Fi, and I don't usually have to go into um, my settings to manually change it. But if you have a problem and it doesn't automatically connect to the Bluetooth, you may need to go into your settings on your phone and actually find the Sonos Move Bluetooth connection. But like I said, I've never had that happen. Um, if you need to power off the unit, you just hold down the power button there. Same to turn it on. It is kind of a heavy speaker, um, but that kind of makes it feel more quality as well. And the height of it, this is just up from the charging station here. It's just, just almost about nine inches tall here. And across, it's kind of an oval shape, but it's about six inches across. So it doesn't take up too much space. We keep it here on our kitchen counter and I like to use it as an extra speaker. We already have one in the kitchen, but it's on the other side of um, the kitchen. So we have a balance now with two speakers but it's nice to have this as a portable unit. Um, it is not waterproof, so be careful if taking it near um, the pool or something or, or the water. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't recommend taking it to the beach because there's just way too many holes for sand to get into um, this speaker. And uh, yeah, it's been really great for us. That's pretty much what we use it for, and I really love the speaker. It's got great deep bass clear quality and the volume is very good. I just use my phone and the Sonos app to control the volume.